today I had the pleasure to host President Alexander Vujic of Serbia and Prime Minister Alvin Kurti of Kosovo for the first high-level meeting uh, this year. But it is the sixth high-level meeting of the dialogue since I started my mandate here in Brussels. The focus of the meeting was to discuss about the European Union proposal on normalization of the relationship between Kosovo and Serbia. This is an important and significant development because since last summer we have been involved on crisis management, focusing only on crisis. One crisis after another, trying to control the tensions on the ground. Now we are going out of the crisis management and we are looking for a structured solution to the normalization. This proposal that we have been discussing today, we call it an European Union proposal because it was endorsed by the 27 member states at the highest possible level at the last European Council. This is a proposal approved by the European Council. 27 member states supported it. I want to remember that it was first presented to the parties last September. And since then, we have engaged in an intense shuttle diplomacy. Since uh, last September, when the proposal was first presented, Miroslav Lajak, the special representative of the European Union, has been traveling in the region. He went time, 10 times to Pristina and eight times to Belgrade since last September. It's clear that we have been engaging in an intense diplomacy activities and the two leaders discuss it jointly here for the first time. We have had different intense discussion in different formats. Both leaders have shown responsible behavior and readiness to find solutions. And I am pleased to announce that President Vujic and Prime Minister Kurti have today agreed that no further discussions are needed for the European Union proposal. A proposal that has the title Agreement on the Path to Normalization between Kosovo and Serbia. And since both leaders agreed that no more discussions are needed, the text of the agreement will be published to the External Action Service of the European Union on the website shortly. This agreement is above all for the citizens of Kosovo and Serbia. It's not for the European Union. It's for the citizens of Kosovo and Serbia. It sets out that people can move freely between Kosovo and Serbia using their own passports, mutually recognized. IDs and license plates. It entails that people can study and work without wondering whether they are diplomas and where they obtain them may be an issue. The agreement can bring new economic opportunities through increased financial assistance, through business cooperation, and new investments in Kosovo and Serbia. It provides for better employment opportunities for everyone in Kosovo and Serbia, without unnecessary bureaucracy, and it also means more trade because certificates needed for import and export will not be an issue anymore. For the Serbs in Kosovo, it means more security, certainty, and predictability. 
when it comes to their protections and rights in Kosovo, including for the Serbian Orthodox Church and Serbian cultural and religious heritage sites, more security, certainty, and predictability. And I hope uh, the agreement can also be the basis to build the much needed trust and overcome the legacy of the past. Much needed trust. The parties have expressed their readiness to proceed with implementation of the agreement. We have a quite a long story of agreement that has not been implemented yet. And the parties have expressed their readiness that with this agreement they will proceed swiftly on its implementation. But further negotiations are needed to determine specific implementation modalities of the provisions. I repeat, they express their readiness to proceed uh, with implementation of the agreement, but further negotiations are still needed to determine specific implementation modalities for the provisions of the agreement. It means that the shuttle diplomacy will start to continue, and I will convene another meeting between the two leaders in the course of March with the aim to finalize the discussions on the implementation annex, which will guide the implementation phase of the agreement. This implementation annex is an integral part of the agreement, and it has to be yet finalized. I want to say that the European Union has reminded the parties of their obligation to implement all past dialogue agreements which remain valid and binding. In the meantime, until the middle of March, uh, the European Union Special Representative Miroslav Lajek will have to go again to Kosovo and Serbia to visit them to follow up on today's discussions and prepare for the next high-level meeting. We expect the parties to engage constructively in this process. Also, it's very positive to say that both parties have agreed to refrain from any uncoordinated action that could lead to renewed tensions on the ground and derail these negotiations. I hope it will happen like this and no uncoordinated actions could jeopardize the continuation of the work in process. The agreement will put uh, the relationship between Kosovo and Serbia on a new and sustainable basis. And the European Union facilitated dialogue on a forward-looking trajectory towards comprehensive normalization, without uh, which neither of the parties can realize their European future. Yes, reaching an agreement on normalization is not only an important thing for Kosovo and Serbia, but it's also for the security, stability, and prosperity of the entire region. And it shows to all of us that progress is possible. To conclude, progress was made today, and I commend the parties for their engagement. At the same time, more work is needed to ensure that what was accepted today by the parties will be implemented. It's important to agree it is still more important to implement what has been agreed. And this is the thing that has to still to be finalized. I'm sure Miroslav Lajak will continue with shuttle diplomacy and before the next European Union Council, by the middle of March, end of March, 
we could finalize completely the work. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes the press statement. Thank you for coming. Have a nice evening. Bye.